Hi, I'm Alessandro from the Data School Cohort 13. Today I'm going to show you how to make a waffle chart in Tableau. This type of chart is great to show percentage of total. To build this chart, you will need to use a template spreadsheet, which I have included in the comment. Let's now jump to Excel and let's have a look at this template. As you can see, this template contains three fields, row, columns, and percentage. The percentage will go from one up until 100%, and the row and column shelf will define how we want to build the grid into Tableau. So let's now jump into Tableau and let's get started. The first thing to do in Tableau will be to connect to this template. So let's connect to an Excel spreadsheet. Let's use the template. Let's wait for Tableau to connect to it. And let's move to sheet one. Great. From here, the first thing to do will be to, co uh, to convert column and the row to dimension. And now let's place them onto the relevant shelf. If you add the percentage field onto the view, you can better understand what's going on. You'll be able to see that each percentage is plotted in one particular square starting from the top left hand side usually when building this type of visualization we'd rather these to start from the bottom left hand side and to do so you can click on two rows change the sorting option and change this to descending and as you can see now my one percent will be on the bottom left and 100 percent will be on the top right Great, we can now remove the percentage from the, from the mark shelf and let's add the data source that actually contains the data we want to visualize. For this example, I will connect to the sample superstore data set, which is included in every version of Tableau. These data source contain the field profit ratio, which results in a percentage and therefore will be a good use case for this example. After we connect to the data source, it's time to create the calculated field that will define how to color the mark that we will create. I'll call this calculation percentage color. And the formula I will use will be profit ratio is greater or equal to percentage from the template spreadsheet. Please note that this particular field will need to be summed up. Let's click OK, and you will see that the new field has been generated in your list of, them, of measure. Let's grab this field and let's move it on to color. And at this stage, we can already understand what this field is doing. So we can understand that our profit ratio will be roughly 12%. This is because 12 squares have been colored. Let's now improve on this visualization. Let's change the default color. I will assign to the false value a light shade of gray. And choose whichever color you fancy for the true. Great. Now, to make this visualization look more like a square, we will have to add a dummy field onto the column shelf. This field will be the average of one, which always results in the values one. And here we can see the table plots bar charts from zero to one. We'll have to slightly change the axis to fix the range of this axis, because at the moment they're from zero to one zero five. I want them instead to go from zero to one. Great. Let's also add a bit of border to our color, maybe in white. Uh, we fix the axis, we can increment the size of the visualization. Let's make this bigger. And we also want these uh, marks that I'm plotting to be squares. And to do so, let's simply resize any of the column and the other will do the same until we obtain somewhat that resembles a square. After you've performed that, you'll be able to hide the header from the column, row shelf, and from the axis itself. 
Great. Let's now grab the field that we want to visualize in number, for example, profit ratio, onto the detail shelf. Make sure that this field is formatted as a percentage. In our case it is, but maybe I want to display an extra decimal place. Great. Now let's find the place towards the middle of your visualization and let's add an annotation for a mark. In this annotation, let's only keep the actual value to display, which in our example is profit ratio. And let's format this to be a bit big, centered, and maybe bold to really stand out when you visualize it. Great, let's now move this particular annotation towards the middle. Let's right click on it. And let's define a bit better the formatting option. I will remove the shading, any box around it, and the line, only to leave the value displayed. And there is it. Here is your waffle chart ready to be used. Of course, you can expand on that by perhaps assign, uh, adding a filter or maybe creating multiple of that. Just to give you an example, I will add category to my filters. Great, so now that we have set up our filter, and for example, let's have a look on how this value change only for office supply, or for supply and technology, furniture. As you can see, it's completely dynamic, and it will change based on the value you assign for filter or other functionality of Tableau. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you now feel confident to make a waffle chart yourself. Please check the description of this video for links to additional material that you might find helpful. If you enjoyed this video, you'd love how to build a chord chart by my colleague Blair. Click the link on the screen to watch it next. Thank you.